Welcome to the secret restaurant. I'm speaking in a whisper. I don't know why. You know, I think Newark gets a bad rap sometimes just because it's maybe not New York City. It's actually really nice. It's really close to New York. And just because when you land at Newark and you see all those factories with billowing smoke, it's not like that here at the airport, especially at the United Terminal. Today, I'm gonna to take you behind the scenes of the fancy way to do Newark, starting with global services, VVVIP check-in. I don't earn global services or concierge key because I don't pay for my international flights. I use miles. Like today, I use 180,000 United miles to book my $4,000 one-way Newark to Tel Aviv flight. So I don't earn any elite miles and I certainly don't earn elite qualifying dollars. So I've actually never been in the global services uh, check-in, but United has graciously allowed us to peek behind that invite only curtain, if only for a minute. So once you check your bags here, there's an elevator that'll take you right to security. So let's go. Sky Lounge Main Line. It used to take four hours to go Chicago to New York and almost five hours from New York to Chicago. Those darn headlines. At that rate, it would have taken us like 48 hours to get to Tel Aviv. Maybe longer, but not in our 787-10. We're now headed to Classified, and I would tell you what that is, but I'd have to kill you. Just kidding, we blogged about it. Zach Honig of TPG always goes there. It's an invite-only restaurant here at Newark. It's a secret. There's a regular restaurant up front, and then you need to get an invitation. They'll email you if you're so lucky to be chosen, and it's all done through United Mileage Plus. I'm here for the secret restaurant. start an epic journey. Chili lobster, that's a yes. Oh, I have a discount because I have the mileage bus card. Not a good value paying with miles. This is our taste of spring. So we have on the bottom, stinging nettle pesto. A lot of milk, papa beans, and pickled rings. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. Not too bad for New Jersey. New Jersey oysters. Straight from the Hudson River. in the Hamptons. Newark Airport is the Hamptons of New Jersey, in my opinion. Ooh, wow. That's my signature dish, the chili lobster. It smells delicious. Enjoy. Thank you so much for coming. Hey, little fella. So sorry, but you taste so good. It's the cutest little fly I've ever seen. Stop number two on our VIP Newark tour is the Polaris Lounge. It is only for people who are physically seated in Polaris on an international flight. I was here for the opening of the lounge, but I've never actually been here for a flight, so excited to check it out. So this is one of the shower suites. We've got Sunday Riley product, which is one of the newer partnerships with United. Nice big area. Saks Fifth Avenue towels, just like in Polaris. And here we have it. I can't 
even reach it. So that's A plus 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 plus. time in the lounge, don't do it. In the open area, simply do it in a phone booth and then you can speak as loud as you'd like. Right passenger shaming. There are also a number of quiet suites if you want to just lay down after a long flight. Paloma. Can I try one of those and then the paper plane, just okay. for the plane? I'm a bourbon guy. It's just the perfect amount of sweet and bourbon and cool because it's got a little paper plane cut out. Hashtag app geek for life. Paloma. A light margarita, maybe a little too sweet. I like it. But I like the paper plane better. Utterly luxurious pre-flight experience here at Newark International Airport. Secret restaurants, VIP lounges. What better way to get ready to go to Israel? We are truly living in the golden age of travel.